Hi guys, my name is Maggie and today I'm going to be sharing my breastfeeding experience. My baby is 11 months today and it has definitely been a journey. Just a little disclaimer, I am not a lactation consultant or a professional. Um, this is just my experience and I want to share it with you guys because I know how hard breastfeeding could be, especially if you are a first time mom. Okay, you guys so for the um, first um, two months um, definitely breastfeeding was a completely uh, uh, challenge it was definitely a completely challenge because um, baby was not latching on good I always said that I didn't want to give her a pacifier or a bottle um, at least for like a month the first month uh, but um, when we were at the hospital when they took her to get her listening test done they gave her a pacifier and then we kind of just like use it afterwards um, she really liked it so I guess I don't know if that had something to do with it or not, but um, I know that before we gave her a pacifier, she was still not latching on good. So I'm not exactly sure if that had something to do with it. But um, then I, um, for the first two months, um, I have to use a nipple shell. And this is what it looks like. Um, they gave it to me at the hospital um, and we had to use this um, every time she would nurse, every time. And it was definitely um, complicated, especially whenever we would go for a doctor's appointment because um, not only was I very embarrassed to nurse in public, which you shouldn't be, and but that takes time to feel comfortable in nurse in public but i wasn't i wasn't at that point of my life yet so <clears throat> it made it extra uh, it made it even more difficult because i had to put this on and you would just put it like you would just wet it and it would stick better to your skin and you just put it like you know like to your nipple um and with this, she was able to nurse much better. She was still not latching on 100% good. Um, she was still let go um, a lot, but she was able to nurse with this a lot more. Um, when she was two weeks old, I did give her a bottle. Um, I tried to supplement a little bit because she was not um I th she was definitely nursing every two hours or an hour and a half like every hour and a half or two hours religiously so um and i think that is normal for babies because they their stomach is so little that they um they do need to nurse very um they do need to nurse constantly but i, I just my milk didn't come until like I don't know maybe maybe like a week after I gave birth or five days I'm not exactly sure I can't really remember but um, you know I was just producing colostrum so um, I felt like she was not getting full so at two weeks I did try to supplement um, once a day um, with a bot with a formula so I gave her a bottle and she did well um, and then after that, um, then I went back to work at two months. Um, I had a C-section, so um, they gave me two months. Um, and at that time, I was working full time. So I, um, I would nurse in the morning before going to work. At work, it was quite difficult um, to pump. Sometimes I would not be able to pump twice like I would like to because we were just so busy and we just I just didn't have the time even though it is mandatory for your employers to um, let you pump um, but um, I'm a nurse so definitely my work is not like I can tell my patients oh 
hold on a minute I gotta go pump you know you, you know if something happens last minute just gotta take care of that and my co-workers were definitely great they support me a hundred percent so they would at least make sure I would go pump once a day um but definitely um, twice a day I would definitely pump twice a day most of the time um so then I just kept going just kept going and you know I would nurse when I get home well then before I knew it I had like a bunch of milk I had like a stack of milk in my um, freezer and I was so proud of myself my milk supply was definitely not the greatest um, so that's why I'm telling you guys it, I I heard so many stories out there like oh well I didn't breastfeed because I didn't have enough milk well uh, yeah that could be true but you can still breastfeed you just have to push yourself and um, don't give up and you eventually would get more milk anybody can breastfeed uh, that I had a, a difficult experience so nobody can come and tell me well I couldn't breastfeed because I didn't have enough um, milk my milk supply was very low no my milk supply was very low I probably would pump from like one ounce to two ounces um, a pumping session and I never gave up I kept going not counting that for at least that first two months it hurt oh my gosh it hurts so so bad when your baby's nursing or pumping uh, I would say the pumping felt a little bit better but it still hurt but definitely when the baby was nursing it oh that is painful that is some painful 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 stuff um but you just have to keep going you just have to do it and you will eventually get there to increase my milk supply I would um, drink um, this um, mother's milk tea I would drink that um, once or twice a day my milk supply definitely decreased within the last few months as baby's getting older she's not nursing as much she's eating solids now so yeah it, it is definitely um, low now I do want to share my pump with you guys it's the Medela pumping style advanced this is the one that I use and it, I, I love it because it's like a purse. I mean, here's the pump and it has so much storage in it. Storage. It has so much storage. So here's my pumping supplies. Here's my um, nursing bra. And yeah, I keep... Um, I keep um, nursing pads and um, my meal, my bags to storage my meal. So like I was saying, um, my pump is the Medela. I love this pump. And most insurance cover um, your pump. I did have to buy mine and then I had to mail the receipt to the insurance. And they mail me a check with the exact amount that I paid for it. Um, taxes and everything included. So that is great. So if you guys have insurance, please take advantage of it. Um, it is electric. Oh, it does have um, this other um, piece that you can put batteries in it. You can put batteries and you would just um, unhook it. I'll show you in a minute. But... It does have you can put batteries so if you guys are um, out somewhere when you don't have um, access to an electric outlet this is great I've definitely used it and as you can tell I have batteries already in it because um, just for emergencies I don't um, I hardly ever use it but I have 
whenever I don't have an electric outlet around me. Um, my pump is like my purse. I bring my purse everywhere I go and my pump comes with me everywhere I go because you never know sometimes even if I'm with baby if I don't know if for some reason I, I have too much milk that day and baby's not eating that much especially when she's sick she don't really want to eat that much so then I would have to pump at least once a day so this is my pump I love my pump what i'm talking about um right now it's plug it it has the plug in um, to the wall but if you need to switch it you just um unplug it from here and plug it and then it works just fine um this too um if you are only pumping like let's say from one side maybe the baby nurse from only one side then you might want to just you know pump on the other side so you're you're not um your boob is not like engorged um so then you would um cover one out one cover one up so then you would put this on one and then put your other tube on the other one like this like that and then um this goes to the um to the cup yeah so it would look something like this see and i do wash my um my pumping supplies every single day if i'm at home and for some reason i have to pump i definitely wash it with soap and water but if i'm at work i normally just rinse them um just rinse everything really good oh, there go. um but i normally take this part out and rinse it too so rinse everything really good let it air dry and then i will store it store it i will i normally um buy these zippo bags and that's where i store my um my pumping my pumping part um this the tubes i definitely don't have a good adv advice on how to um clean those i normally just um rinse them with water just warm water if you see this tube right there yeah i um i just put it um running water just turn on the faucet and with running water i just hold it like that and you will see the water coming out and then what i do <clears throat> let it air dry <clears throat> but it does collect it does collect moist but um once it's as dry as it can get i would just plug it into my pump and put it on really high and then it will just um the all the water that's stored in there it will come out um and and then every time i am done pumping i do the same thing I let them plug I still I kept them plug in and then I will put the pump on high and just while I wash my supplies and stuff store my milk and and all that and then I come back and plug it and you know put everything up that's what I do another thing um, another thing that I do recommend you guys buy is this nursing bra it is a life saver oh my gosh i love it <clears throat> i think it was like maybe 20 maybe the most 25 dollars but believe me it's the best 25 dollars that i have ever invested this nursing bra is fabulous you just put it on let me show you just put it on Like so, you know, put your supply, you know, that, and you know, you hook it up to your, like so, and you can be doing other stuff while you're pumping. That is amazing. I mean, 
like I said, I would eat at work when I was pumping. I can, um, most of, like, if I have to pump in the mornings, I do my makeup while I'm pumping. And that is great. I mean, that is amazing to me. As a mom, you got to learn how to multitask. So that is definitely a great idea. And last but not least, this is the and the bag that I use to storage my milk is the Parents Choice. I really like them. They are the most affordable ones that they sell in stores or that I found. Um, but I tried the Medela ones and they're very small and i really didn't like them the way the the opening was i really didn't like them i definitely like this better i really like it you can put um date name volume and time i normally just put the date and the amount <clears throat> but yeah you can do definitely use this they are amazing okay guys i think that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any other suggestions or any other questions, please comment down below. Don't forget to like this video if you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have any other recommendations or any other videos that you would like for me to do, please just comment down below. And I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.